Dutchman Classic model 38BH here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 2001 model. And uh, if you think you just found the diamond in the rough, you, you're looking at a price tag thinking, holy cow, I just found a steal. This is a perfect trailer for an amazing price tag. I would like to be the first to inform you that is not the case. I'm putting this video together um, to, to not necessarily show you what's awesome about this trailer, but what is unfortunately not awesome about it. I represent our inventory as fairly as I can. When I see defects, I point them out. I'm going to point out quite a few on this RV. Um, you're going to get a lot of trailer for the money, but uh, unfortunately it has seen some better days. Uh, so let's get dug in here so you can understand uh, understand our asking price. Uh, you're going to see you know, little bits of trim popping off here. There's areas of water penetration in and around both slide outs. And I'll try to point those out inside while you go. Um, is it a, is it a waterlogged um, safety hazard? No. Is it perfect? Not by any stretch of the imagination. Again, you're going to see like peeling screw trim and stuff like that here and there. Um, it's, it's just a very very inexpensive camper that has seen better days if you're a, i'm going to call this a handyman special if you're a person who's handy with a hammer and some uh, wall board you could revitalize this thing and make a very nice little camper out of it um you know we could go through it and fix it but not for the dollars that we're asking um you know the dollars that we're asking are fair given the shape of the trailer but uh you know it could be a little bit better shape unfortunately it's very part friendly no slides on this side of the trailer we got a rear bedroom slide out a living room super slide front bunkhouse with this big sliding glass door here it's begging for you to put a deck up next to this thing or to park it in the back for to use it for hunting camp as is the condition of it currently um, let's walk in the back door here since that's just the traditional camper door into the full bed slide out and uh, uh you know queen bed in the slide here big wardrobe across the rear but if you start looking this, uh, this whole area up here has unfortunately seen some water penetration. Water comes in through the top, water trickles down with gravity, and it has swelled some wood down here. Um, all the flooring is still solid. Um, you know, I've walked through every square inch of this thing. There's definitely a couple pieces of wall panel that could be replaced, but the core structure of the RV is there. Um, and again, remember, you know, we're not hiding this stuff from you. I wish this wasn't the video I was putting together. I wish... I was telling you how awesome this thing was for such a low, low price. But, um, you know, unfortunately, it's had some history. Remember that we don't duck that. Remember that we aren't hiding it. And if these, um, you know, water penetration qualities are an instant disqualifier for you, totally understand. That's perfectly, perfectly understandable. That's exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing in this video. Um, by the way, not one, but two big closets and cabinets here in the bathroom with a big garden tub, seating area if you need to sit while you bathe. Um, up front here, the living room is going to look a lot like a lot of travel trailer living rooms, just with, again, a little bit of water damage. Um, if you start looking up here, up in this area, you're going to see where there is a, a little bit of um, trim buckling where you've had a little bit of water in there. And I see some wood discoloration down here, which indicates swelling. So there has been some water over here. Again, floors, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the floor. It's, uh, it's just wallboards and trim. So, if, again, if you don't care about a couple cosmetics, you're going to get a lot of trailer for the money. There's a lot of trailer for the money here. It's just not in top working order. And in our experience, if something's not perfect, it, we just we just put a, a cutthroat price tag on it and get it out of here, you know. I'd rather be blatantly honest with you and have you look at something else we have in stock again. If you're looking at this one, go, oh, no, 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 no. I, I need something that doesn't need any work. Great. Definitely do not buy this one, but understand that if we don't go through and tell you that there's problems with one, it's because there are not problems with one. Um, you know, we, we've tried to represent everything as fairly and accurately as possible so you can make the best educated decision you can. Because let's be frank, you know, this is a lot of money. Um, if I do this wrong, if you come here and buy a trailer under false pretenses, you're going to get pretty mad at me, and I think you'd be uh, right in doing so. By the way, this is an electric-only refrigerator. The gas electric fri uh, fridge has been replaced by an electric-only um, park-style refrigerator. So it's a bigger fridge, but it will not work on propane. So you really, really do want to find like a permanent site to use this on or plan a generator for it. So you've seen the ins and outs, the ups and downs. Um, on a trailer like this with uh, you know water penetration, you have to come see it in person. Um, you know your expectations for your money and the salesman's impression of what the trailer is given the price tag may not be the same thing. You have to come see this in person and form your own opinions of it. And I've given you things to look for so that you're educated when you walk in here to get the best idea possible. Give us a call. Know that we're going to shoot you straight. 800-256-5100.
96 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.